so now that we have uh, that we understand arithmetic uh, expressions and uh, we have our problems where we need to identify or calculate the total number of orders and um, total price and here is like all the variables we might need constants and integer values to calculate stuff so let's go ahead and talk about the code itself so at first in the code you need to define all your variables and that's what's being shown here so you need to define your constants right away which is like the phone price which is gonna be hundred dollars so and that's being defined as a constant as a decimal similarly tax rate you have to all go ahead and like define straight away that this is the value of the tax rate 0 0.05 or five percent and uh, and the rest are just uh, defined um, as dims or procedure level variables because only in within this procedure will these uh, variables will actually be used nowhere outside uh, this button event procedure um, and after you have defined everything then you actually uh, assign the user input to the variables so then you have to pull whatever is data in the text boxes for like the silver phones or the blue phones and then assign uh, these values to the variables to the respective variables uh, here they have used the try pass method so whatever text is, is in, in the text box that's first converted to integer and then that integer value is uh, assigned to the silver phones or the blue phones variables uh, so integer dot try pass has been used here uh, you can use uh, the other convert to so you can use convert to dot integer uh, whichever you like and then once you've done that then you can perform your calculation so simple stuff total phones equals to silver phones plus blue phones subtotal is equals to total phones times phone price and like that this sh should be pretty in, in use uh, easy to understand and then once you have all your variables which you need for your display then you can use the last two lines of codes basically uh, in the label uh, where you need to display the total phones uh, then you put in as text then convert to convert dot to string because your uh, total phones are and total price are integer values you need to convert them to string so that you can display text right and s there you use convert dot to string to convert that integer value which you just calculated into a string so that you can display it so one last thing for the arithmetic code we just r r wrote uh, we did this already we actually did the clear button design the last lecture we talked about it and we also talked about the focus method so like by by default where the focus should be um, now when you clear stuff when you clear stuff in your form you should have the focus or your cursor right at the beginning of your form right so if you had that name address stuff like thing and you cleared everything the cursor should go back to the name text box and so the clear the event procedure of the clear button should have um, should have a code for that and uh, it's basically your text box name followed by focus and we'll see that in the following slides so here I'm discussing uh, the code itself the total code about the calculation button and the clear button so and that's it's pretty pretty much what we already discussed right very right very recently um, one thing to point out would be the the green stuff the comments basically project name purpose what the codes are doing and I mean it shouldn't be much of a big deal I mean these are going to be stripped out during the program compilation anyway so and here's the last part the calculations display uh, all the stuff we already did exit button should be pretty familiar 
just one line of code and in the clear button um, code you have all those empty string dot empty which is just a um, replacement of the quote quote we used before so each text box and all the labels are basically cleared out using either string dot empty or your quote quote whichever you want to use and you see the final line before the end is name text box dot focus um, and then parentheses so that basically brings the focus back to the name text box which is the first text box